Hey guys, I'm here with Holly Carton, uh, our transfer uh, this year, starting player, right side. Um, Holly, so I have a couple questions. If you could just tell us how did you start, you know, the whole, whole adventure of the volleyball, how did you start and how did it happen? Yeah, so growing up I was playing swimming and softball mainly and then I have an older sister, she's three years older than me, hi Kayla, and <laughs> um, she started playing volleyball when she was in sixth grade so I was just always playing with her in the yard and uh -huh. then um, we would always be outside just like passing back and forth and she would always try to hit it and just hit me in the face every day so I would go inside <laughs> crying but we were just always back out there uh -huh. the next day so and then I started playing on my first team in fifth grade. Okay, um, so I know we talked about it before, like you told, you, you kind of shared with me or the team that you 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 didn't really grow up because you're for everyone that is watching you like uh, Holly six seven, and so you didn't grow up uh, really tall until when? Like if you could just tell us the story of your height because it's pretty interesting to be honest with you. Yeah, so. Again, my older sister and I are very similar in looks and freshman year of high school I was 5'8 and she was a senior, she was 5'9 so we were right there back to back and then by the end of that freshman high school season I was 6'2 so that was a pretty quick growth spurt and then I just grew throughout the rest of my high school career to eventually be 6'7. 6'7 so. and what about your sister? She's stayed at 5'9. She stayed at 5'9, yeah. that's a pretty crazy story. Okay, so how was... Um, like right now you're the right side but you uh, you were a setter before how is that you know just this transition for a different play different position and if you okay with that or you would rather have one position how, how you you know yeah i love um being versatile and being unique as a player a lot of people who are my height do you think they're able to hear us? yeah keep going okay. keep going i think you're gonna hear um <laughs> have been this height <laughs> A lot of people who are my height have been this height, or the one of the tallest ones since they were young, so I was actually able to just um, get the skills of a smaller player and then kind of bring that into my body now. So I've loved being able to set a 6'7", that's pretty unique, and I just like having different skills. So here I've been more of in a point scoring role, and it's just been really fun to be able to train with a new coaching staff and um, just kind of evolve my game. I think it's actually a great answer, like you said, because being small you learn different type of skill like right do you a little faster you you more technical that's how it usually works and the taller players are usually less technical so I think it's, it's actually a great answer like you learn how to be small and then you got the, the height so you just utilize it yeah. awesome um, I hope they can hear us but uh, uh, how was how's your experience here in Florida? Let's get a little, be a little closer. How's your experience here in Florida comparing to your previous school? Like, what's like the main difference? Yeah, I would say just kind of uh, what this feels like. It's just a fresh start in all aspects of my life. This has just been really been a great opportunity for me to just kind of re, uh, define myself as a player, as a person. Um, it's been a great fresh start for me spiritually and just growing my relationship with the Lord and just an awesome transition to meet new people and just kind of evolve who I am. Nice, nice, great answer. Um, what's your advice for, I, I ask every single player that Ali nominated you last time to, we want a taller person to, to be interviewed. Uh, What's your advice for like young players to, if they want to develop, they want to get to the college level and play on a college, college level? Yeah, I would say throughout your... I would say throughout your career, there are going to be so many things that are always changing and evolving. For me, my body was a huge part of it and who you're surrounded with. So I think you need to be your number one supporter and your number one just person who believes in you. So throughout all the different um, just kind of phases of my career, you know, being an undersized, less physical player at the beginning of my high school career, there weren't a lot of people out there to believe in me or kind of pour su <clears throat> support into me other than my family. So I think just having belief in yourself throughout all stages of your career is what can get you far. So, yeah, so, so say that again, when your height came again, it was freshman year high school. Yeah. Did you even think before that you're going to play college or you were just playing because you like the sport? And yeah, it was just fun. I love um, just kind of the mental side of volleyball, the strategy, and I was just like kind of a high IQ player at that point and not the most athletically gifted, so it just wasn't really a dream until my growth spurt. 
That's actually, I think you have a great story. I wasn't even aware of that, that you didn't really think about playing college. And the height came, you were like, let's go. Let's just... And the thing that you said, like being able to fully take advantage of what kind of situation you're in. You're small, you, you develop technical skills or, you know, you work on different things. And I mean, I'm glad it happened to you that you got the height so you could utilize it. I think a uh, great story. Yeah, I mean, Holly, that's it for uh, that's the, all the questions I had. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, I <laughs>